Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss corduroy. Corduroy pants, suits, jackets, the history of it, how you should wear it, what you can do, how it got its name, and anything else you want to know about this wonderful fabric. So first of all, what is corduroy? It's also known as poor man's velvet because the fabric of velvet and corduroy is actually quite similar. The only difference is there are twisted yarns that create this ripped structure, as you can see here. Also, velvet used to be made exclusively out of silk, which was quite expensive, whereas corduroy was made out of cotton, which was less expensive, hence poor man's velvet. Corduroy is a very soft yet durable fabric and it is made out of cotton, either 100% or a cotton blend. Better qualities are 100% cotton. Traditionally, it's popular for hunting apparel or winter apparel, hiking apparel, and anything related to cold weather. Personally, I like to wear it during the fall and winter when it's cold outside because it's some extra warmth and it's extremely comfortable. Yet, it's more stylish than a pair of jeans or sweatpants. So now let's talk about the interesting history of corduroy. Corduroy is basically in the family of fustian fabrics and it includes moleskins. Fustian dates back to the year 200 and it got its name from the Egyptian city of Fustat, which is near Cairo. The city had a vibrant marketplace and was known for its cotton exportation. Later on, it made its way to Europe and especially to France. At the court of the French king, it was actually an apparel that was given to the staff of the king for hunting. The king himself would wear fine silk brocade garments, but they were too expensive for the staff, so they got the less expensive cotton alternative that was very comfortable and especially durable. As far as the name corduroy goes, there are different theories. One is that it comes from cord du roi, which means as much as a cloth of the king. Now, if you think about that the king actually never wore it, but just his staff, I have my doubts about this theory. Other people argue that it comes from cour de roi, which means as much as court of the king. I think this is more likely, but at the end of the day, we'll never know for sure. And if you want to learn more about the rich history of corduroy, please check out our in-depth gut on our website here. Who can wear corduroy and how can you wear it? Basically, it's not just for old stodgy professors. It's even a modern thing that every gentleman can wear. To start, I think it's a great idea to have at least one pair of corduroy pants in your wardrobe because they are soft, they're durable, they're warm and extremely comfortable. They also don't wrinkle a lot and come in a beautiful range of colors. When you start, I suggest you go with something in either brown or tan because they're very versatile and you can wear them with all kinds of sport coats, which is an ideal companion to them. Alternatively, you can also get a corduroy suit, which is a matching pair of jacket and pants. Now, while that look may remind you of 70s or 80s characters, the good thing about it is you don't have to wear it at the same time. You can either just wear the pants with something else or just a jacket with a pair of chinos or even jeans. Of course, a proper cut will eliminate any 70s or 80s references. That being said, corduroy doesn't drape as well as wool. It's thicker, but it gives a very special crinkly look and you have to like that. So if you're not sure, start with a pair of pants, then either add a suit or add a jacket. Once you have the basic colors of brown and tan, you can extend it to either olive green or black. Personally, I also like burgundy and navy because they're versatile and different and can add a pop of color to your outfit. Some people also wear lime green, bright red or pink corduroys. Personally, I think that's over the top and it's very difficult to combine. If you can pull it off, good for you. If you don't like olive green, I think a dark bottle green is a very elegant yet unusual alternative. Because corduroys are rather inexpensive and they last for a long time, it gives you a longer lifespan for your other garments because instead of wearing out your suit pants, you can now pair it with a pair of corduroys and get more wear out of it. Also, you up the number of combinations you can come up with. Now, when it comes to washing them, I wash all of my corduroys in a washing machine. And usually they are yarn dyed. Sometimes though, they're dyed after the fact 
and they may wash out. It gives a very special look and you either have to like it or you have to bring it to the dry cleaner. Personally, I think the kind of used washed out look can be quite British, but you have to like it. When you look at corduroy, you can see the ribs have different sizes and that's referred to as whale. The whale is defined as how many ribs you have per inch, which is 2.54 centimeters. Fine whale corduroy will have as many as 16 or 18 ribs, whereas a regular will just have about 10 to 12 ribs. You can also find corduroy with six to eight ribs, which makes for a very wide rib and a very unique look. The lower the whale number, the thicker the corduroys will be. So what I'm wearing here right now is a house jacket or TV jacket in a very high whale count, very thin cord corduroy. On the other hand, the pants here are a nine whale count, which means it's a medium-sized corduroy that is very timeless and classic. Just like with most things in classic menswear, you want to avoid the extremes with corduroy as well. That means neither go with a very fine cord nor go with a very wide cord because they may look in and out of fashion very quickly. Instead, opt for about eight to 10 whale cord because you can wear that at all times and it will never go out of style. That being said, corduroy certainly had its ups and downs over the years, but the people who wore them with this kind of balanced whale cord could always wear them and it was just a personal style. If you wanna go with a very thick corduroy with wide ribs and low whale count, I suggest you keep it more to pants. If you want a jacket, you can go with finer ones. In terms of quality, you can find two major classes. One is the Genoa bag, the other one is the Tabby bag. The Genoa bag basically has the same twill structure on the front side and the back side. Generally, the Genoa bag is considered to be the higher quality version, which is usually heavier, but also more comfortable to wear. The less expensive version is the one you can see here with a so-called tabby bag, where you have a flat surface on the inside. Most corduroys you'll find in the market today are tabby bags, and they're still very comfortable. But if you ever come across a Genoa bag, know what it is, appreciate it, and get your hands on it. How do you wear corduroy? Basically, it's a very three-dimensional fabric, and so you don't want to combine it with velvet because it's too close. Personally, I really like to combine it with tweed or wool. For example, the tweed jacket that I'm wearing here right now with a tie and a shirt would go perfectly with the blue or navy corduroy. It would pick up colors in my tie and in my jacket and overall have a very relaxed, positive, casual character. If I go out in the evening to a neighborhood Italian restaurant, I sometimes combine the black corduroy with maybe a burgundy vest and a different kind of gray tweed jacket. Green, brown, and tan corduroys likewise go well with any kind of vest, as long as there is some amount of contrast and a jacket in the brown tone family. For shoes, I suggest you check out our How to Wear Brown Shoes Guide because that's really the best shoe color for this fabric, unless you go with black, of course. That being said, I love to wear tan boots with corduroys because it gives a strong contrast and a casual look that is unusual. If you want to learn more about corduroy, please check out our in-depth guide on our website here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for a free newsletter so you get videos like this right to your inbox. Thank you. Thank you.